Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be sharing you guys a CAC order that we just got back and a CAC order that we're sending out today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned and uh, you'll like these coins. So in this video, we're actually sending out a few coins uh, from my brother's collection, my dad's collection, and a few for our buddy Trent. Um, and we're, we're also sending out a bunch uh, from the Grapevine this weekend. It's just better when we have certain coins uh, with CAC stickers on them. But let me take uh, the phone right now and show you guys everything that we have going out and the coins that actually ended up CACing for us uh, when we sent them out uh, a few weeks ago. Well, let's get started with this Ike dollar here. This is 1976S uh, Ike dollar, uh, great MS65 by PCGS. It's in a nice rattler holder. Uh, I don't think it was the cream of the crop for the 65s, so he ended up not cacking it. I don't think there was any PVC on the coin uh, to begin with, so that's a good sign. So uh, just a nice coin for now. I'd like to one day have all these uh, cacked uh, certified, so I'll probably end up upgrading most of these except for the 71D. But let me show you another one here. Uh, this is what John Albany actually showed me on this coin. He said this 1974S Ike Dollar had PVC right here on the coin. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like a few kind of droplets right below uh, the L. Um, so I didn't think this coin had PVC on it, but uh, it is what it is. I still think it's a really nice coin, but like I said, if I can get another 1974S um, in a higher grade or the same grade and get a CAC sticker on it, that would be preferred. But another nice coin, just not with a CAC sticker. Let me show you guys one with one. This is a 1929S Buffalo Nickel, graded MS63 by PCGS. The reason why I like this coin so much is because that blue, um, that orange and red on the obverse. I thought the coin had a decent strike, decent luster, um, and I think the color was really nice, especially when it's in this OGH holder. Uh, John ended up agreeing with me, very thankful for that. Going back into the set for now, um, and here is the one that you guys uh, might be interested in uh, knowing about. This is a 1971D. Uh, Ike Dollar, graded MS65 by PCGS and the Rattler. Ended up finding this coin at the Cowtown show a while back. Was offered crazy money for this coin just because I think the guy knew uh, that it would CAC. Um, I guess Ike Dollars are extremely hard to get um, with a CAC sticker. So this one is definitely staying in the personal collection. Um, it's just a super original Ike Dollar. Uh, whenever I saw it, I had to have it. Um, it's just a really nice thing. I actually bought this coin uh, to begin with at the Cowtown show, not knowing I wanted to start uh, putting Ikes together in Rattlers. And so when I saw this coin, it really kind of started me to start collecting Ike Rattlers. Um, but let me show you guys this California here. We had this one go off too. Um, I was hoping this one would cack, but it was kind of spotty. Um, I don't think there was any PVC on the coin, um, but I still love the luster, still love the coin so much. There's just so very few uh, Callies in uh, in Rattlers that keeping this one around is uh, a no-brainer. So when like you know a 62 to 64, 65 comes along in a Rattler, I'll probably pick that one up as an upgrade. But for now, this one fits perfectly in the collection. Uh, I wanted to show you guys also something that was pretty cool about these two coins. Now, when you take a look at the cert numbers, you can see 6018614. This one is 6018164. So uh, my theory and Cole's theory is that these were actually submitted on the same day. Uh, one ended up measuring up in terms of grade. It was a cream of the crop and one wasn't. Just how it is, but bought these on two separate occasions, one at the Cowtown Show and one uh, at uh, in, on Instagram, actually. But let's take it to the next row here. This is a 1937. No, star, uh, no stars, small date, uh, graded BF25, CAC approved. Um, I sent these in because they're super original. Been on the website for a while, and I think a CAC sticker would help them, especially with you know desirability among collectors that like these. Um, what else do we have here? This is an 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar, graded MS65 by PCGS. Um, it got a CAC sticker because I, I feel the luster is strong enough just because San Francisco coins, especially 1880S and 1881S, have that luster. Um, and the, and the Tony really didn't take away from that luster, as you can see. And so I thought this one would cack uh, all along. So sent this one in, and I definitely agree with this sticker. Tough luck on this one, but like I said, we did cack the other uh, small date here. Uh, but still, nice original piece. 
Uh, like I said, there was that big hit in the left field there, which really uh, took away from the coin. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see here, but it's right there. They kind of screwed the coin up a little bit. Uh, I think they net graded it because of that. They didn't give it the VF25 originally when PCGS graded it. Um, but, you know, it's worth giving it a shot, especially when you don't have to pay if it doesn't get capped. Uh, here is an 1881S uh, Morgan Dollar uh, graded MS64 by uh, PCGS. Now you can tell the luster on the coin is, is phenomenal just because 1881S's were made like this um, and the color is also pretty extraordinary on the reverse. Um, when you flip it over, luster is still pretty nice. I didn't think it would cack, uh, but he thought differently um, and I'm very thankful for that. It adds a little bit of a premium to the coin. And here is the big kahuna of the video. This is 1963 Franklin Half Dollar Grade AU58 Plus by PCGS. Perfect for an everyman set, the only 1963 Franklin in um, an AU58 Plus holder. Um, took us about 10 months to get this all done. Um, it was an AU58 holder uh, with a CAC sticker. Now it is an AU58 Plus, and then we just got it back from CAC, so this coin is ready for sale. Uh, this coin is available on our website, AkushaCollectibles.com. Um, it is a little bit expensive just because... Um, you know, people pay a lot of money for AU58 Plus coins, especially when they're the only ones currently available. And last but not least of this wonderful submission, we have this 1941S uh, Mercury Dime. I bought this one for $17 um, at a grapevine show, um, and then I ended up sending it to CAC. It did CAC, pay that $15, $32 all in, and I ended up selling this coin last night for $100. So made a cool $65 profit after uh, shipping. So pretty nice submission. We are getting the use to CAC um, and what they expect out of us. And so we look forward to showing you guys the new ones. Are you guys enjoying today's video? If you are, please smash that like button. Uh, comment your thoughts down below of our previous CAC order um, and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's show you guys the new coins that we're sending in. Next up, we're gonna be showing you guys uh, some coins we're sending off to CAC. Um, like I said, we're sending out a few coins for a few of our buddies. Uh, we have one that my brother submitted a while back. He found this at an Ohio show. Uh, it's a small little one, uh, but he ended up finding this one and ended up going 66. I mean, the luster on this coin is phenomenal. Uh, it is a little spotty, but the toning is kind of like that. I hope John thinks it's all right, um, but really a nice coin. If you do pull up the true views on this coin, uh, you will really like it. Um, but I do think this coin has a strong shot at CAC. Um, and I think this coin really all day could be a 66 plus, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the next one I want to show you guys is this 1864 L on the ribbon. Uh, we actually showed this coin off a few videos back, but I tell my dad I wanted to send this to CAC because um, it really does have a nice chocolate color to it. Um, I really do think it could do well. Um, the only issue with this coin really is that it has that kind of black spot on the reverse. You can kind of see that to the right there. Um, but since I gave this coin to my dad, um, or me and Casey actually gave this to my dad, uh, we're actually just going to be able to uh, see if it cacks, and if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, we have no really need to sell it at this time. Um, we actually sold a few coins to Trent this weekend. Um, this is uh, a 1907 Barber Half, I'm sorry, Barber Quarter, graded AU58 by NGC. It's in a nice fatty holder here, and um, it does have some interesting kind of blues and reds. I think the only issue with this coin, really, um, which gave it that AU58 grade, is that circulation on the face there. It's going to be hard to see, but it has a little circulation. Um, but when you flip over the coin, there's actually no real circulation on the reverse here. Um, so I do think this coin has a really strong uh, chance at CAC. I'm really looking forward to seeing what John has to say about this coin. Here's one that Trent brought this weekend. Um, this is an 1896S uh, Barber Quarter. Uh, graded G6 by PCGS. It does have true views on it. Um, and the main re reason why he wanted to submit this coin is because, like I said, there's no downside if it doesn't cack. Um, but if it does cack, it, there is an upside. Um, you can actually see a few kind of scratches here. I'm not too sure if that was happening during the, the dying, the, I'm sorry, the process of them being created or not. Um, you can kind of see it. It's hard to see them here, but um, that might just be a part of the coin that might not be a part of it being circulated. So um, that's going to be kind of the thing that might hold it back from it being uh, CAC approved. Um, but still, a nice key date quarter. Always good to send something in like that. 
Here is another coin I picked up at the show and sold to Trent when he got there. This is a 1901 uh, Barber Quarter, uh, graded MS64 by PCGS, I'm sorry, by NGC. Um, this coin has some interesting toning on it. Um, it's kind of like a brownish green. I do think this coin might have a chance at CAC just because it has that nice original look to it. Nice original skin, no, nothing really on the coin that would say like it was dipped or, um, you know, cleaned in any way. Um, just a nice, wholesome, original barber quarter. And we're going to go to the bottom here uh, with the best of the best uh, that we found at the show and also one that we bought um, from a dealer in Louisiana. But we'll tell you that story in just a minute. This is a 1941S um, Mercury Dime, graded MS65 Star Full Bands. We kind of showed you guys this in uh, last video or a few videos back actually. Um, but we do think this coin might have a shot at proof like. But what I like to do is just do my due diligence up front. If I can get a CAC sticker on it, then we can have everything ready to go in terms of it, it getting an opportunity to proof like. And so, uh, you know, I think the, the reverse is a little bit weaker than the obverse, but I do think it still has a nice shot at proof like. And so if we can get this in a PCGS uh, holder, that would be wonderful. I think this coin could be a thousand dollar coin when it's all said and done. Um, check out this 1919 um, quarter that we got. Um, the reason why I'm saying this one in is because it has some really nice luster. And sometimes, uh, you know, you have to pay up for certain coins. And I ended up paying up for this coin a lot just because I thought it was really nice and I did think it had a shot at CAC. Uh, nothing really wrong with the coin. Um, I really think they actually might have undergraded this one. But we will see what John says, and it might need a recon. Who knows? But never go wrong with buying a teen SOQ. Um, here's a coin that actually was one of the last purchases of the show. This is an 1873S halftime, graded MS64 by PCGS in a Rattler. Extremely hard to find. Um, we actually spent some time uh, with a dealer. I pulled out three coins that he was hiding from everybody in Rattler holders. There was two gold uh, pieces, uh, two and a half gold Indians, and then there's this one. And so he told me he didn't want to sell any of the coins. And so when I was talking to him, I said, okay, well, here are the three coins that I'm interested in. Choose the one that you hate the most. And so he ended up choosing this one, and I ended up buying this one for a, a good price. And then there's actually a two and a, half, two and a half Indian, a 1908, that I actually want to buy in the future. I just got to keep bothering him every show, uh, stay on top of it. But I do think he'll end up selling me this coin right here. It's just such a phenomenal piece. Uh, but let's get back to this half dime. I think this half dime is very original and crusty, but there is no luster on the coin, which is the main problem with this half dime. And so uh, it does have some interesting toning on it for sure. But I wanted to give it a shot just before I kind of made it for sale um, because I think this coin does have a shot, but uh, the luster really does hold it back in my opinion. Um, but let's get to the last coin of the video, my favorite coin of the video. This is an 1870 proof 64 cameo uh, seated half and when you take a look at this coin uh, you know it, it has really nice fields here I'm actually going to show a video of it right now Okay, so you saw that video. It had some really nice color on it, really nice kind of contrast. And the reason why I bought this coin is because there's only seven at PCGS in Cameo. And the last one that ended up selling at Proof 64 Cameo was in 2010. And so um, finding a coin like this um, for someone's collection or for even my collection, it might be in my collection, I'm not too sure. Um, it's just something that you can't pass up. I saw someone post a picture of this on Instagram and I ended up reaching out to them, and then they gave me the shop's phone number. I sent the shop a check, and they sent me this coin. Very happy with the coin. I can't wait to see what happens with this coin at CAC. I think it will definitely green. I don't think it will gold CAC, but we will see. If it does gold CAC, I will be screaming and running um, in, in, in joy. But uh, the way that this coin shop actually came across this coin was the, the owner actually submitted this coin back in the 2000s. You actually can see this by the series right here. Um, and so the, the original owner ended up sending this coin in um, to PCGS when he found it raw. And there hasn't really been any offering on this coin at all. No one actually has made 
uh, you know, put this in an auction or anything. So this is legitimately a fresh coin, and I'm very happy uh, to be able to uh, have it in my hands, show it off for you guys, and send it to CAC. There's actually not very many marks on the holder as well, so that's pretty interesting. But thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Uh, let's cut it to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy what we had to share, please leave a like, uh, comment your thoughts down below, and check out our YouTube, uh, I'm sorry, and check out our coin shop, uh, GooshaCollectibles.com. You're going to want to see everything that's on there. A lot of great coins for you to pick up, but I will see you guys in the next video.